So I recently did show off on my channel how you guys can get the mentor set. A link to that video will be down in the description below if you guys are interested in collecting that armor set. But in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how you guys can collect the Bridge and Dean armor set. Now this armor set is going to be amazing because the perks that will apply to it. But before we do get into any of the perks that are on the armor, you are going to need one special upgrade for this and it is going to be for your bow. And I will be showing you guys where you guys can get that upgrade. As always, a like is very much appreciated on the video. It does help the video go a very long way believe it or not rather it is just one like or two likes it does help the video get to other people who do watch assassin's creed videos and who are looking for the same armor set so make sure you guys do drop a like on today's video it is very much appreciated but if you do ask me this armor is going to come in handy because of the perks that it does have on it now don't get me wrong personally in assassin's creed valhalla i do feel like the enemies do tend to surround you a lot more especially when you are doing some raids now the armor will also give you an additional increase when it does come down to melee damage so i do think that is going to be perfect for those groups of enemies that are going to be trying to attack you all at once but without further ado let's get straight into today's video now the first piece from the bridge and dean set i am going to be showing you guys how to get is going to be the helmet we're starting from the top what you want to do is make your way over to this location here that i do have on the map it is going to be an outpost so unfortunately if you guys are not going to be high enough level you guys are going to want to make sure you guys are going to be as stealthy as possible from there, what you want to do is make your way over to the side of the outpost where you will see that there is going to be a loot chest. You don't have to open the loot chest, but what you want to do is move this giant rock that is going to be covering a passageway. From there, make your way through the passageway. There will be a lot of enemies, so make sure you guys are careful when you guys are in this area. But once you guys do get through the passageway, you guys will be able to open up this chest. No keys required, and you guys can just simply put on the helmet. Personally, I do like the way this helmet looks. You guys can ditch that old starting helmet, and you guys can equip this one. Make sure you guys do add some runes, just so it does increase the stats on your armor. Unfortunately for these next few pieces you are going to need the upgrade that I was talking about in the beginning of the video so let's dive into that. To get this upgrade what you want to do is make your way over to this location here. Once you do make your way over to this location it is going to be an outpost so do keep in mind that there are going to be a lot of guards but I do recommend sticking to your left. If you are on your left hand side there aren't going to be as many guards. You don't have to go up this stairway here I just want to get into combat with some of these guards here but if you go all the way up to the left what you want to do is make your way all the way up to the top of the building. Once you do make your way up to the top of the building, there will be this little barricade here that you do have to just move. Once you do move the barricade, make your way inside of here. Then what you wanna do is smash and clear out all these boxes. Once you do clear out all the boxes, what you wanna do is drop down and then there will be a golden pedestal for you guys to learn this new fire ability. Now what this ability will do is pretty much give you explosive arrows. Now there are two parts to this upgrade. This is only part one. Let's get into the next piece in today's video, which is going to be the cape. So what you want to do is make your way over to this location here that I do have on the map there will be a boat here and there will be a wall so what you want to do from here is use the upgrade to break the wall from there just wait a little bit because everything will catch on fire and in the gameplay you guys will see me accidentally or stupidly walk into it multiple times not once multiple times guys this happened not once just multiple times so it was kind of a stupid thing for me to do but from there what you want to do is make your way into this little cave area and as you guys can see once you do get into this cave area you are going to have to do a little parkour from there break this little wall here and then there is going to be a giant stone that you are going to have to move once you do move the stone make your way through the little crack there will be a little skull as soon as you enter make your way over to the left and then there will be a chest for you to loot once you do loot that chest, you guys will get the cape. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, this armor set does have some special perks. I personally do like this armor set for anyone who is at the starting beginning of the game, only because you will be doing additional damage and you guys will be almost like a god when it does come to fighting in combat in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But with that out of the way, let's get into the next gear piece in today's video. So for the next piece in today's video, I am going to be showing you what you want to do is make your way over to this spot here. You are going to be finding the trousers here. Once you do make your way over here what you want to do is come down over by the beach there are going to be a lot of enemies you guys can either clear them out but i'm just going to do it while they are here so what you want to do is simply run over and follow the path that i do run over by and then make your way over to this little spot that has all the little rocks over here now you guys can use the ability that i did show you at the beginning of the video to blow up this little patch in the ground or you can pick up one of the little vases to throw at it either or what you want to do is make your way down into here once you do make your way down into here there is going to be a little door for you to destroy once you do destroy the door you will see the lovely gold chest that you will have to open once you do open it you will be rewarded the trousers now with that said let's move on to the next piece in today's video 
So for this next part, it's going to be kind of weird only because you are going to need two keys. So what you want to do is make your way over to the location I do have on the map. Once you guys do make your way over here, you can sneak around this area or if you guys do want to, you guys can't just get into a full on fight. But what you want to do is pick up this first key, which is going to be over here by the lumber yard. And then from there, what you want to do is make your way over to this next house area. It's kind of semi close to where the chest is going to be. I don't have exact map locations for you guys. Hopefully my description skills are up to par. But once you guys do get inside the house, there is going to be a key. And once you have collected both of these keys, you guys can make your way over to where the chest is at and simply climb up and then open the chest. And from there, your lovely reward will be waiting for you in the chest. Now with that said, let's move on to the next piece in today's video. Now for this next spot, it is going to be located at a fast travel point. I do recommend you guys do get this fast travel point because it is very useful and it does tend to come in handy when you are having to go into an area like this. So what you want to do is make your way over to the roof of this area and you can sneak in through the window or you can come in on ground. There won't be any hostiles here so you do not have to worry about guards trying to kill you or you getting into fights with anybody. So once you have made your way onto the roof, what you want to do is just simply drop down on the floor. From there, there are going to be these little scrolls. What you want to do is climb up to the top of these scrolls. And when you guys do get to the top of the scrolls, there is going to be a door that does need unlocking. So what you are going to have to do is shoot it with your bow and arrow. Now, I do recommend having one of the bows that do make you go into first person, only because the third person bows tend to be a little bit harder. But in a minute here, you will see that I do get it and I do unlock the door. Once you have unlocked the door, what you want to do is climb all the way up to the top balcony the area and then proceed through the door that you did unlock and then travel all the way downstairs and once you do get downstairs you will see that there is a patch of rocks on the ground that you are going to have to explode and once you do explode that patch of rocks you guys will have the armor waiting for you in the gold chest at the bottom and i do believe that does complete the whole entire set for this video hopefully you guys are going to be going out in the world and using the set because if you're like me and you're at the beginning of assassin's creed valhalla and you're just enjoying the game and you're just going around and assassinating a whole lot of enemies and just ranking up for you know just having fun this armor is going to be amazing this armor Armor does have a whole lot of different gear sets that do go onto it so i do think it is going to be amazing so i do recommend you guys do upgrade it but with that said i also have done a tutorial on how you guys can get the mentor outfit a link to that will be down in the description below so make sure you guys do check that out but drop a like on today's video if you guys did enjoy it i will see you guys in the next one i'm out guys peace